Hello friends, I'm Eric Hutchinson. I'm the principal broker and owner of Hutchinson Realty. Welcome to my end of the month days on market contest. At the end of every month, I like to look at how long does it take for a home to sell in Northwest Arkansas? What is days on market? That's simply the time that a seller puts their home for sale all the way through closing, which is when we change ownership. That time period in real estate we call days on market. We're going to be looking at our five largest towns, Fayetteville, Springdale, Rogers, Bentonville, and Bella Vista, and we're only looking at single family property. Last month, Rogers beat out Springdale by one day on the market. Rogers was at 48 days and Springdale was at 49 days on the market. Can Rogers hold on to their championship? We're going to see. We've noticed a few trends in Northwest Arkansas. As the interest rates have risen, we've noticed that our days on market have also increased, taking sellers longer to sell their home. But will that continue through the holidays? We're gonna take a look at that. Now I do this for fun, but it's really good information and can give us an indicator to where our market is headed. So let's get into the data, shall we? We're gonna start south in Fayetteville. In Fayetteville, this time last month, it took them 53 days on the market to sell a home. Today, on November 25th, it's at 58 days on the market. So they saw an increase on their days on market. Let's go over to Springdale. Last month, Springdale had a great showing at 49 days on the market. Today, they actually decreased down to 47. So that's going to be the number to beat. Springdale, let's see if Rogers can hold on to their championship. No. Last month they were at 48. They won the championship. This month they are at 55 days on the market. Let's move over to Bentonville. Bentonville has got a lot of new construction houses. And look at this. Last month they were at 56 days on the market. And this month they are at 60 days on the market. So it's taking them longer to sell their houses. Let's go over to Bella Vista. Bella Vista has always been our biggest bang for dollar. Last month it took them 50 days to sell a house. And this month, today, 49 days on the market. So just decreased by one day on the market. Let's take a look at some interesting data here. So if you'll notice over here to the right-hand side of your screen, July is when we hit our peak. $189 per square foot, 38 days on the market. They were selling like hotcakes. And then in August, we started seeing the interest rates even go higher, up over 7% and it took them 44 days on the market. Then to September, it was 49 days. October, 54 days at $189 per square foot. In November, now keep in mind, in November, that's the month that we're in right now. We have not, we've got another week uh, in our data. So this isn't uh, the end of our data yet. So right now, 318 houses have sold in November, but usually the last week is when a lot of houses close. People like to wait till the end of the month to close their property. So 100, 318 houses have sold thus far at $192 per square foot and 54 days on the market, which is the same as October. Now, a couple things you might say, well, Eric, it looks like the price per square foot is going up. I don't think so. Keep in mind that Bentonville and Bella Vista have more new construction houses than they do resale homes for sale, which means that the price per square foot is actually higher. So it pulls up that price per square foot. And we've had a lot of houses be completed in the last couple months. So we're seeing a lot of those new construction houses pull up our price per square foot. But if you watched my video last week, the active listings are starting to lower their list price down to get where, seller, where sellers can sell their homes quickly because it's taking longer to sell. So it will be interesting to see where we go next month. Now, let me just draw some conclusions for you because I think that we're going to continue to see the interest rates rise up at least for the next six months or so as they're still trying to get inflation to decrease. And I think you're going to see our prices come down a little bit, even the new construction prices. So it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Our days on market is going to increase, which is going to cause sellers to lower their list price to get the prices sold. And I think that you'll see our sold prices decrease as well. But we'll find out next week as we look at our data. We'll be looking at sold listings as we get into the first few days of December. 
You can always reach out to me at moreinfo at hutchrealty.com. You can go to our website and view every active listing, or you can get a free home evaluation at hutchrealty.com. No matter what, I wish you the very best. May God bless you and may God bless your home.